I think that's almost everything. Oh, hello there, Sooty. I'm just trying to get this, uh, this, uh... Oh, he's... He's crying. Poor little chap. You see, I told you you would be upset. Hang on a minute, Sooty. Look, dry your eyes. I've got my, my handkerchief here. Have a good blow. Go on. Yeah, I think, I think a bigger blow than that. A bigger blow. Go on. <laughs> oh, all right, all, all right, all right. That's a big enough blow. Goodness me, that was a big blow. Look, he's blown a hole in it. Now, come on, old chap. You, you can tell me. You can be honest with me. Are you crying because I'm going away? Is that why you're crying? It, it isn't. Well, are you crying because you're afraid about being left alone? Is, is, that, is that why you're crying? That isn't why you're crying. Are you afraid for, for my safety? Are you afraid for your safety? Well, you've got tears in your eyes. Why are you crying? Because you've been peeling onions. Peeling onions? Look at this. And I've... <laughs> there it be. They are a little bit strong. Why have you brought this up here to me? You want me to take it with me? So I can remember home? Is that it? A reminder of home? An onion? Is that all you can think of giving me before my journey? You got something else for me? Oh, apparently he's got something else for me. Ah, look. A compass. Now... You use these to find your way home. You see, bless his little cotton socks. He doesn't want me to get lost. Sooty, with... Oh, just a minute. Look at that. Look at that. It's broken. The, the little handle's dropped off. Do you realise, if I was relying on this thing to get home, I'd never find my way home. Do you know that? You, you do know that. That's why he gave it to me. Thank you very much. A duff compass and an onion. That's a nice going away present. Can't you think of anything else? You got something else. Apparently he's got something else. What, a passport? That's my passport. What's this for? In case I want to extend my stay. What do you mean, extend my... Oh, Matthew, oh, hello, we've Sue. got a few things for you to take away with you. H have you? Ah, mm. oh, you see? In the end, they do care. They really do. They've got a few things for me to take away okay, with me. Okay, boy, bring that... them up. What a little Here list. A little list of goodies to take away. Which are at the back of the linen cupboard. Nine clean pairs of socks. What do you mean nine? Two pairs of bed socks. Hang on a minute. Two water bottles. You never know about the weather, Matthew. No, no, Five no. pairs of Winsiette pyjamas. Two what, pairs of slippers. It's... Your walking boots. I don't want Winsiette. Three no, dog size, three beach towels. So, 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 so what, what is the meaning of all this? What are you oh, doing? Oh, uh, it's just in case you decide to stay a little longer, Matthew. Oh, uh, and a couple of pillows. So I you will know be, how uncomfortable hotel pillows can be. Honestly, Swimming trunks, moon boots, sun cream, thermal long johns. Sue, Sue, listen, listen, listen. With all this stuff, you just forgot <laughs> one thing. This suitcase isn't big enough. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, the trunk is waiting on the kitchen table. Trunk? Now, let's see. Uh, what do you mean, I don't, I don't want a trunk? Look, I don't want all these things. Oh, this is ridiculous. Please, Tiffany. don't bring those. Oh, look at the state of it. All this stuff. Look, I've already got a pair of slippers. They're here again. Goodness sake. Right. So that's one dozen Irish linen antimacassars. Is that correct, Sonny? And two pounds of pork sausages. Uh, listen, sweet. listen, listen. Look, so, don't just stand there, Matthew. Help us get it into the cage. Listen, this has gone far enough. Now, why do I need all this stuff? Hmm? Why do I need it? Extra supplies. Yes, that's right, in case you decide to stay away. But if I stay away, I'm only going for one night, and look at all the stuff that you've organised for me. Look at all this. I should need a truck to transport this lot. You know what you've done, don't you? You have made it impossible for me to go away. That's it. That's why they've done all this. It's because they don't want me to go. I knew it. I knew it all along. You're frightened of me leaving you, aren't you? No. You want me to stay here with you, don't you? No. You lot are terrified that I will walk out of that door. Huh? No. Well, I am going to go. So there, to teach you a lesson. And what's more, there's no good you begging because I'm not coming back. And there's no good sniffling either because I'm not going to listen. No, I'm going to go away, and that is that. And I don't need 20 suitcases. I've got a carrier bag here with a few essential items. That's all I need. So I'm going... Oi. Oi. What do you think you're doing? Oh, hello, Matthew. Are you still here? We thought you'd gone. We were just going to have a quiet game of snakes and ladders. Ha, ha, ha. Playing it cool, eh? Pretending you don't care, eh? Well, I'm going to call your bluff because I've got my carrier bag and I am off. So there. Right. Show you. Oh, nice throw, Susie. Mm -hmm. well, I won't be back, you know. For long till tomorrow, anyway. When's tea? Well, it's whenever we want, sweet. We can do whatever we like now we're on our own. Smash the Listen. unit. Hey, hey, it's no good you lot hoping I'm going to change my mind because I'm going. I'm going. Right, I've gone.
sweep? <laughs> what time is it? Uh, I don't know, my clock stopped. Have a look at Sooty's clock. <laughs> Nine o'clock? It's dark, isn't it? <laughs> it was a great meal. Yes, it was, sweep. It's been a great evening watching TV without Matthew nagging us to go to bed. <laughs> So he wonders what Matthew's up to. Well, I don't know. It feels, well, sort of funny not having him in the house, doesn't it? Am I frightened? No. Are you sooty? Are you sweet? No, well, that makes three of us. Now, I think we should all go to sleep. Boys. <coughs> yes, so did I. <coughs> but if we go to sleep very quickly, it may go away. <coughs> Okay now? Yes, yes, thank you, Matthew. Good. Look, I'm sorry if I frightened you, really. You'd what? frighten anyone. Oh, thanks. Don't worry, Matthew. It's just nice to have you back. Well, I must say, it's very nice to be home, Sue. It really is. What is it, Sue? What made me decide to come home? Well, it's a bit embarrassing, really, but the truth is, the bottom fell out of my carrier bag. Oh, so I didn't have any clean clothes. In any case, I suddenly thought, where do I really want to be? I'll tell you. Home sweet home. And we'd rather have you home than anywhere else, Matthew. Thank you, Sue. It's nice to hear you say it. Listen. I've learned a lesson today. I'm never ever going to go away again. Cause I've decided I don't like it. We're the same. We'd like to welcome you back home. Thank you, Sue. Thanks a lot. I'll never do this again. What a strain, pretending I was big and strong. I thought that I would like it. Because it's home, sweet home, home, sweet home. Come on, Sue, join in. This is home, sweet home, home, sweet home. Keep singing, keep singing. Listen. Now I'm home, this is where I am staying. Here with my very best friend. I won't roam, there'll be no more strain. Those days are at an end. I learned a lesson today. I'm never ever going to go away again. I decided I don't like it. We're the same. Good. We'd like to welcome you back home. Thank you, Sue. Don't leave us alone. Now I'm home. This is where I am staying. Here with my very best friend I won't roam, there'll be no more strain Those days are at an end Cause this is home, sweet home Keep singing, Sue We hope that you've enjoyed yourself If you have, join us again soon, won't you?